here is our next challenge called inventory management process. Here as a first step we have to launch the web app and click on delete all button to reset the data. So here is the link and this is the button where you have to click to reset the data and for better usage use Chrome browser. And as a step two get ready with your input files and folders. So you will have three folders called delete, insert, update. And in each folder you will find few files available in that. All these files you will find it in the description below. Then as a step three, extract the data from PDF files available in insert folder that we have discussed earlier. And then enter that data into the web page. As you can see, this is the PDF file in the left hand side. From here you have to extract the data and then enter that particular data like product name, seller and price into this particular web page and then click on create button which is highlighted in the right image to add that to the inventory. Okay and do it for all the files available in that particular folder. Then as a step four, uh, we move on to the update folder and extract the data from PDF files available in update folder and then use those details to update the price of existing records. As you can see in the left hand side, the PDF file contains all the details and by using product name seller you have to update the price details. To do that first select the record and then click on edit button so that it will be updated in the above available fields and you have to update the price and then click on update button to commit the changes. And then as a step 5 extract the data from the PDF files available in delete folder and then use those details to delete the existing records. To do that we have to click on the delete icon which is highlighted in the right image. Once that is done finally click on read button so that it will display the available records at that particular point of time and take the screenshot of the available records. That's all. So what are the different concepts that you will end up learning when you complete this challenge? You will learn web automation because you will be doing a lot of data scraping and then you will learn PDF automation because you have to extract the details from PDF and then you will learn file folder operations because you have to be retrieving the files and folders and you have to do a lot of manipulations on them. Thanks and all the best.